Hi, I thought I'd make a video for people to do an activity, art activity at home with hopefully things they've got around. So it's not gonna be my usual things, which is oil painting, as you'll be able to see by my disgustingly blue hand. Uh, today we're gonna to be doing how to draw a face, absolute basic. So I hope you enjoy it. So to begin, get your paper and your pen and your picture. Um, and start by drawing the top of the head and the bottom of the head. Very roughly speaking, the eye should be around the middle. So just draw a line. We're not focusing on features because people tend to get a bit bogged down with them. And then halfway between the eyes and the chin is the nose. And halfway between the nose and the chin is the mouth. It's very rough, but it's a rough idea, so that's fine. Then you start by drawing your nostrils. If you think of them as a C, or a bracket, and then a bracket. And then the side of your face, if you hold this at 12 o'clock, if you think of the angle as like 11, or like a few minutes too, then you want to uh, put that angle on here. I hope that made sense. Sometimes I don't. It's free. And then her jaw breaks. She's got a very angular jaw. You want to begin with these big shapes so that uh, you can get the whole picture in, really. The eye ducts roughly line up to the bracket of the nose. So pop a little and then pop a little. Now an eye should be an eye distance from an eye. So if you were to measure that and take that measurement to here, that's where they should end. And then hopefully it'll be like boom, 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 here. Her eyes are looking down, so I'm just gonna draw them like that. And like this. I don't have rubber, so if I make a mistake, Oh, never mind. Your eyes will be different. I think of them as a hedgehog. So you've got the little hedgehog's face. It's flat bottom body. Often people draw an eye like that. It's not flat, roughly. She's looking down, so it's different. And then his body here. Don't know why he's male, but hedgehogs is male apparently. And he's got these little spikes. And then you've got a circle for the center of the eye and a pupil, which is black. And then your eyelid. Ta -da! And then draw our nostrils, don't overdraw them, just gently on that bottom first initial line you made, just pop them in and shade them in a bit. Sessa. It can be nice to imply the top of the nose here, just bring that in and here. Don't, again, don't overdo it. And then our eyebrows, now hers are arched, showing a bit of expression. You can show quite a lot of expression through your eyebrows, so have a look at the general shape. Some serious brow action. You can shade them in if you want as well. Now the mouth, her mouth is a little bit higher because she's got quite a large bottom lip, so I'm just going to shuffle that up slightly. Move that line here. And colour in the eyes. Now hers, as I say, are looking down, so the circle, we only get to see a little bit of it. And the pupil. Black hole for the pupil. Normally, the eyes, the centre of the eyes, line up with the edge of the mouth. So if you imagine that, that will be where the edge of your mouth goes to. Oh, I was supposed to be that, wasn't I? Whoopsie. Straight across here. And then the top lip, I think of as an M, an elongated flat M. There we go. Now, instead of drawing the bottom lip, I'm going to draw underneath it. And darken this line here as she's got her mouth slightly open. 
and I'm going to put some little marks for the edge of her mouth. Sorry, Emily, I've, um, I've aged you a bit here. Not sure how I've done that. And then I'm going to redraw the chin. Now she's got that lovely mark here, and that comes in a bit. So have a look at the jawline. And once you've got a rough shape like we've previously drawn, you can begin to hone it in so that it's more precise to the person's face. I'm also going to draw the top of her eye here because she's looking down and just shade that in a little bit. You can do as much shading as you want. Shady. And then I'm going to draw the rest of the hair. Now that's the top of the head, but the hair goes quite a long way underneath and over that. You can do the hair however you please. You can draw each individual thing. You can block it in as a whole if you want to shade. Hold your brush, hold your brush, hold your pencil and just go like that. And you can smudge it if you want to smudge it. I'm going to draw a little line implying a cheek. If the person's older, extend that line. That line will come down to here. There may also be some crow's feet and uh, bags and things like that. And then we pop a little extra line underneath for the bottom of the lid. This is just specifically on the picture of her looking down. And I'm going to stick some eyelashes. Draw in the edge of the face here. Now the eye, the ears, sorry, generally speaking are in line with the bottom of the nose. Sessa. There we go. And there we go, I'm going to bring this in a bit, I've done that too far out. Fattened her face somewhat. Now, Emily's got a skinny neck, so I'm going to be drawing it about here. Check where that line's up to, just hold your pencil, have a look. So it comes up to about there. If you've got a person who's very muscly or very fat, your neck will be here. But she's skinny. Et voila. And then I'm just going to draw a little bit more detail of the eye duct. And darken that lid slightly. Okay, so hopefully that's an absolute basic approach to portrait drawing that you can then apply to other things and practice, hopefully. Um, I hope you enjoy doing so. Thank you very much.